our pitching in Northern Premier League travels bring us to Leicestershire as Coventry Sphinx link up with an old Midland Football League foe in Shepshire Dynamo here at the Dovecote Stadium, otherwise affectionately known as Butthole Lane. The ground's humorous name deriving from its history as an archery field. The home faithful may love it up the butthole, but will the visitors hit their targets or be left at the rear? Well, let's find out together with coverage sponsored by Cahill Contractors with commentary from Liam Cook. Coventry Speaks make three changes from the 1-0 defeat at home to Corby Town seven days ago. The lasting memory of Saturday's meeting with the Steelmen was a serious injury to Callum Woodward, the captain leading the pitch on a stretcher. The extent of his condition is still yet unknown. In his absence, the armband falls to defender James Bryson. Former Dynamo centre-back Lewis Guest was set to take the captaincy, but only makes the bench due to travel problems, while Woody's spot in midfield is taken by new recruit Alex Locke, who arrived from rugby this week. Elsewhere, there's a return for the Downs brothers either side of Locke, Cristofaro and Johnson return to the bench. Shepshed make three changes from the 1-0 defeat at Gresley Rovers last weekend. Right back Kevin Masindo and midfielder Kieran Cummings are drafted in after a second pointless weekend in a row. They're drafted in at the expense of Jaden Harper and Reese Morris. Pearson Wanyongo is called into the front line alongside James Shaw. The Dynamo have suffered back-to-back 1-0 losses, leaving the home side 12th in the league table. Cummings on the yes, ball, challenged Lord by the Jim. standing skipper James Bryson. Shorrock, yes, back to Shipman. Across to Downs, who may think about the long range spectacular here, bundled off the ball from behind. And now Shepshed will embark along the left with Rusvidso. <laughs> Taking on Percy, Oblak room being made. Rusvidso, gathered at the near post by Keelan Fallows. Oh, Jamie Draper, the skipper. Finds Whiteside, Percy's playing a higher line. And it's an ambitious ball into Parker. Dylan Parker tries the effort and parry away the near post by Ganley and Downs and again the goalkeeper got enough on it and it's cleared off the line by Masindo. Shorrock with the third effort. And it drags wide. Early onslaught from the Sphinx. One in Sphinx, come on! Bryson. Yeah. Switches the play over to Percy. It's over Percy. Parker picks up the seconds. Jack Down starts towards the penalty area. Deflected and nearly caught the goalkeeper out. Cannons up the chest of Ganley. By Percy. Enagoni nods it up but not out. Cummings under pressure and being turped by Shorrock and an ambitious effort from Parker that floats just over the netting. It's Cummings and Wanyongo standing over it now. The number seven and the number ten versus a four man wall and Keelan follows between the sticks. Who will win the day? One young go, and it was blocked by the wall. I think it was Locke who deflected it to the right. There will be video highlights of this match, hopefully online tonight. And we'll be interviewing Sphinx's latest signing, Alex Locke, after the match. And Sphinx could be through here with Parker. Slips it past the goalkeeper and slips it into the back of the net. <laughs> Well, Parker just loves this scoring sensation. He got the winner against AFC Russian and Diamonds and gives the Sphinx a head start at the Dovecote Stadium after 20 minutes. When Parker was through, you were always betting on him. Ganley tried to make himself look large and close the gap, close the avenues that Parker could go through to try and find the back of the net, but Parker picked his spot and slipped it beyond Ganley and Coventry Sphinx take the lead by one goal to nil. Short tries to get to the deflection before. Lock, Lock dragged down by Prenderville. Referee says nothing doing. Here's Cummings. Sandwiching Bryson and Shark, but gets clear. 
Squares it for Pearson Monyonga, trying to send himself. Monyongo! That would have been a spectacular goal, but it drifts just past top bins. Dixon has drifted back into centre back. Fantastic ball and great control from Cummings on the right wing. We're going to cut in on Bryson. Kieran Cummings, low one into the area. Turned away by Edge and Guale. Locked, taken out from behind by Prenderville. Referee says nothing doing. A deflected one. Nearly catches out Keenan Fires, but he darted to his left and parried it around the post after the effort from Kevin Masindo. Well, the corner to come from the right. Kieran Cummings standing over it for Shep Shed. Can they get back on terms? There's a header at the near post away by Finley Shurrock. Cummings to Pearson Wanyango. Thought about it. Puts it into the area. Not a clear by Percy. Rizvitso. Lofted ball towards Shaw. Keeper's gone down. Revy says no foul. But luckily, he didn't end up in the back of the net. Follows looking to the assistant. So to say why it wasn't the flag raise or the whistle. But usually in those situations, it would have been a free kick. The goalkeepers are always protected. Playing with great promise there, Lagani. And great size too. Rizvitso. Maybe he has a chance to strike for Prendiv on the edge of the area. Locks it high into the sky. Cummings tries to bring it down. Bryson blocks his path. Edgeway sticks his laces through it. But Masindo not alleviating the pressure. Shipman trying to cover him off. Masindo deflected into the path of Shaw. And it's 1-1. One, one. Fortuitous as circumstances it may be. But the ball fell to the feet of Shaw who from that range couldn't miss. Pure persistence from Shep Shed paying off in the closing stages of the first half. Johnson. Shipman just shrugs aside. Dixon, who was holding his arm, and Parker. Will he go for a second little hand in the back by El Hagani? And the referee points for a penalty. Oh. El Hagani gets a booking for his troubles, and again, Dylan Parker undoes the Dynamo back line. Parker got the wrong side of the man mountain centre back. El Hagani couldn't keep up. He had to do something to stop him from reaching the net, but a hand in the back wasn't what was needed for the home side. Just three minutes into the second half, Shippo, who it was announced this week became the first player in Coventry Spinks history to sign a contract. Can he? Give the Sphinx their lead back. Go on, Shepard! It's Shipman. Yes! Never in doubt! Yes! Signed, Shepard! sealed, Shepard! delivered. Shepard! Contract Shepard! and goal. Shepard! He's here to say. And Matty Shipman makes his presence known at Butthole Lane. But well, even if Ganley guessed the right way, it would be a big if whether he could keep Shippo out. There are a few better finishers at this level. But he sent Ganley the wrong way and celebrates his new deal with a spot on the score sheet. Spinks is number nine, and it again. Coventry Spinks back in front by two goals to one. Referee says nothing doing it. What control that was from Matty Shipman. From Fallows Kick. Now plays it down the left for Locke. Alex Locke pulls it back. Johnson didn't get the right connection. And Percy couldn't keep it within the confines of play. Played short from Ganley to Smith. Still plenty of football to be played. Don't put your bets on anyone just yet. Edging Gwen nods to the cross. Here's Percy. Tried to crush it down for Danzo. Only as far as Rabitzo, who takes aim. His aim was just a little off. Not a bad effort at all from Rabitzo. Well, it's been a while since Spinks and Shep should have locked up. Shep should have been at step four for a good old while now. Spinks in the midst of their first ever step four season. 
So was that far post? Oh, not the post! Did it cross the line? No! Just gathered on the line by Ganley. White side 40 have number three, Gift Rat. Oh, it's been an intriguing afternoon in Leicestershire. And still doesn't feel like, like uh, autumn. I mean, sort of, if you step out of the sun, then it feels uh, a little chilly, but we're directly in the sunlight. And quite honestly, I think I'm getting another shade of sunset. Shipman caught in the midsection. And Shipman in some serious discomfort. He's uh, pulling his shirt up, and trying to alleviate some of the pain. In fact, it was. It was um, it was Lynch who made contact. Oh. Physio Kirk is ensuring that he has the best possible care. Thank you to Kirk and the good folks at uh, Coventry University for their assistance in Coventry Spinks. Physio this season. And we've just seen the. Uh, it was a bruise or a cut. Oh my goodness. That is, a, that is a nasty wound on Matty Shipman. Johnson. Parker brings it down on the edge of the area. Turns away and finds Johnson again. Shipman back in play. It's down the right for Percy. Should get there before he crosses the line. Percy, ball in towards Echinguele. Echinguele puts it down for Parker to have another go. Not with the same conviction as his opening effort. Going to whipped in towards that far post. And not in for the equaliser. Shepshire Dynamo, Paul swings back again. And the substitute reason with an immediate impact, he's only been on the field for a minute. It couldn't have been a better introduction for Shepshire Dynamo. Kieran Cumming standing over it. Fana saw it coming all the way and punches over the woodwork. <laughs> Refusing to be beaten for a third time. This corner is put in. And off the line by Downs. And the referee has stopped play for an apparent head injury. Smith recovers and finds Masindo. Driving along the right, runs into the path of Jack Downs and is not going to win that battle. Downs, floats over the back line and Shipman is beyond the last defender. Matty Shipman shoulder to shoulder with Elagani who tries to recover. Shipman tries to dig it over the goalkeeper, not quite. Well, that would have been a spectacular way for Shipman to wrap up a brace. And in fact it's took a deflection on the way through and it's going to be a corner. Where that's where the ball ended up, via a deflection. The question is, where was the ball going to land without it? Under the challenge of Johnson, slightly harsh free kick to give against the Sphinx there, but it's quickly taken by Lynch. Shaquille Master steps away from the challenge of Locke and down. Still going Master, it's a brilliant run. Master tipped over the crossbar by Fallows. Looking to be the master of Shepshed's destiny on that occasion. Off the ball towards the edge of the area, Ejinguele nods it down, coming tries to uh, take it on, but again Ejinguele first man to the punch. Prenderville. Excellent side in my Percy to prevent Massa from making inroads. Percy and Shipman giving everything to get there ahead of El Hagani and does just in time for it across the line what? for the throw. Alex Logo oh. deflected off his chest and into the hands of Ganley. Unfortunate bounce for Locke. If it fell to his feet in that position, Spinks' his three points would be safe. El Hagani backing into Shipman. Shipman nods it on. Can Locke get there ahead of Lynch? No, he can't. Lynch turns and tries to clear. Pret Neville takes it on past Percy. Ejinguele, Shaw slides in. He's got to get there. Keelan follows before Shaw and does. Ejinguele goes down. Trying to chip it over the goalkeeper and up the crossbar. Shep said we're an inch away from a winning goal in any time. Through Shaquille Massa. He's been watching the Beckham documentary with an effort like that. 
Final whistle blows here at the Dovecote Stadium. And what a fantastic game this was. Sphinx taking the lead twice, Shetcho pegging the visitors back twice. But against the side, pushing up towards the upper echelons of the table, Sphinx can walk away from Butthole Lane, very satisfied with their afternoon's work. The final score in the pitching in Northern Premier League Midlands, Shetcho Dynamo 2, Coventry Sphinx 2. Thank you.